Spark gives you a way to access the data that you have in the organization much more efficiently and much faster than you have ever have been able to. Today, most organizations have data stored in a bunch of different silos. Spark is a unifying force, so suddenly you can have one stream of data that you can access through an application or through a data science workbench. So it's really about unifying access to data across the organization. Application developers, data scientists, all of them will be interested in leveraging Spark so they can deliver better outcomes to the line of business users or to applications or to help improve business processes across the organization. So Spark will begin to transform a variety of different businesses and industries. For example, agriculture. We've gone from a time where data was about analyzing what's happening on your one farm or your one plot of land, and Spark is going to say, let's look at all the data in the history and how that's been impacted by things like irrigation or weather or the equipment that you're using. Spark can deliver those insights. What before would take a decade, you can now do in weeks with this type of processing platform. So Hadoop is a place to store data and to access that data, uh, typically in a batch methodology. Spark is not a place to store data. Spark will access data that's inside Hadoop or access data inside of other systems. And it could be batch, but it also could be done in a streaming form. One of the most powerful things about Spark is the unified programming language that says, I can write an application to one language and then be able to access data all over the organization. And that data could reside in Hadoop, in a data warehouse, in a database. So if you take something, an industry like agriculture, you have a lot of data that may be collected on a specific farm. But how do you start to compare that to data from other sources? So weather data that comes from the National Weather Service, or agricultural data, what's happened in other farms around the world. So you start to combine those workflows into one stream of data for analytics. You need something like Spark because Spark has the unified programming language that will enable that. A data scientist can look across that corpus of data, start to understand the patterns, and run algorithms or machine learning on top of that. That really starts to change how you do analytics in an industry like farming. There are a, a few times in all of our careers where we can set the future for an industry and now is that time with Spark. We believe this is as revolutionary on the level of things like Linux, which IBM was a leader in, Java, which IBM was a leader in. We are going to change the industry with our investment and commitment to Spark. That's why we're opening the Spark Technology Center, a new office in San Francisco, where we will bring some of the brightest minds from inside of IBM, as well as outside of IBM, to contribute to the community, become a leading committer in the community. Spark is going to change industries and we are going to be the leader of that change. Now there are a number of projects around Spark and one of them is machine learning. And to date, that's actually been the most underrepresented in the community in terms of advancements. So part of the announcement that we're making is that we will be contributing our system ML technology, which will dramatically change the pace of innovation around machine learning because we are gonna share an engine and an optimizer with the community. So now anybody can bring their algorithms and run them much more efficiently, but also they will become portable across different environments. So we're gonna take a huge step in terms of contributing to the community, changing our perception, but also driving a new level of innovation for our clients, our partners, and the community as a whole. There's a phrase in the industry, it's called the three C's of open source, code, community, and contribution. So we're making our contribution with SystemML. We're bringing code by starting to build a team of committers. And community is all about us being located at the epicenter of innovation around Spark, which is San Francisco. What's amazing about Spark is it is the fastest growing open source project in the history of open source. So we're talking about a phenomenon that exists for 30 years. This is the fastest growing by far.